This is a very special guitar because it's not out yet. <laughs> so we're gonna get a first look at it. Okay. Oh, look at that, what we got here. Okay, so uh, basically uh, standard Ibanez packaging, nothing extraordinary. Um, so what do you get? You get the uh, tremolo arm, which is important. Uh, two Allen wrenches, the hang tag. There's an owner's manual, which is very standard for Ibanez. And let's get the guitar out of here. I didn't do any top camera angle uh, on this video because uh, we're gonna go right to demo. I just wanted to do the unboxing just to kind of get this. I'm very excited about the guitar. You will see, this was the guitar I talked about at the NAMM show as one of my favorite guitars. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. So what do we have here? We have the Yvette Young model, the YY10 in slime green, <laughs> which is like a metallic slime green. Look at that. This guitar pops. <laughs> It, it just, there's just no way you could have this guitar and not have everyone in the neighborhood uh, and on stage know that you're standing right here. Yep, it's the YYM10. Oh, sorry to be correct. Um, it is made in Indonesia. It's got Goto locking keys on it, which I thought it didn't have locking keys. So I um, don't know. Let's, uh, we'll go through the specification sheets. So let's get rid of this packaging. Okay. So we have the guitar right here. Let's go ahead and get the uh, paperwork. I printed this out off the website so we could have all the information since it's a new guitar. It has Seymour Duncan pickups. Now that's an interesting thing because I saw a video of her and she was doing like a rig rundown and her, her guitar actually had, they said Seymour Duncan on the pickups. So I thought when I saw without this no Seymour Duncan logos, I thought maybe that's something they had kind of stop doing, but right here on the specification sheet, Seymour Duncan 5-2 pickups. Comes with Daddario EXL 116s, uh, which are 11, 14, 18, 30, 42, and 52. So a little bit uh, have a heavier gauge, but that's probably to accommodate the uh, tuning. The tuning on the guitar as follows is uh, the low string will be an F, then an A, then a C, then G, B, and E. So the first three are gonna be standard G, B, E, but the low strings are gonna be uh, F, a, C. So the, so basically two strings are tuned different. You have your E as an out F and your D as a C. So, and that is to accommodate uh, some songs. She does a lot of alternate tunings and she does a lot of tapping. And so that's why that's done that way. Type is the YY Maple Neck. This guitar feels very reminiscent to the AZ series necks where they're not thin uh, but not super chunky and kind of flat on the back. So again, um, I want to say it has a very familiar carve. It seems like Ivan is now just like you know in the 90s the familiar neck carve was the you know kind of wafer thin uh, wizard necks. This new Ibanez era is ushering in a new neck, which is the flat back of the wizard neck, but uh, with the 
AZ. This feels more comfortable than the AZs. And as you guys know, I have three AZ models. Uh, immediately already like this neck the way it feels. Although it feels so close, I bet you if they told me it was the same neck, I wouldn't be shocked at all. Alder body, which makes sense. This guitar has got a little bit of heft uh, without weighing it. I'm not going to weigh it. And if some of you guys get upset about that because the weight varies on guitars. Me telling you the weight of this guitar, this guitar could weigh... Uh, eight and a half pounds easy and you could get one that's seven pounds so again you have to understand that you need to uh, no no guitar is going to be so consistent unless they're sorting the weight that it'll always be consistent uh, this same guitar same exact guitar can vary almost two pounds <laughs> got medium frets um, doesn't say what they're made out of so I'm going to assume that they're nickel and not stainless steel usually if they're gonna add stainless steel they would specify it and I went online too and, and I didn't find any more details more than what I've been his website was it's got the Wilkinson bridge this tremolo bridge which is a push in style tremolo and it definitely looks like vintage saddles the string spacing is 10.8 millimeters I want to measure it to to be for sure and it is 25 and a half inch scale. This is the thickness at the first fret and the 12th fret. Put that here, it's 21 millimeters and 22 millimeters uh, at the 12th fret. So there you go, pretty standard for, for uh, Ibanez and radius is 305 millimeters. Whatever I'm looking at, there is there is three different colors. There's green, what looks like could be a silver or a lighter green, and then there's orange. So there's orange flake in this which is what's giving it that three-dimensional paint job. Looks fantastic. Fit and finish is perfect on this. Like I said, though, this was sent to me straight from Ibanez. It's got a beautiful neck carve right here. A little subtle. It's got that little carve right there. Nothing spectacular, but I always like this. I call this the handshake, you know what I mean? When you when you hold a guitar like this and it feels perfect. Um, especially, said, like I said, it's kind of hefty guitar, but it doesn't feel like it. You really feel like you can... Hold this guitar. The pickups and the guitar overall sound very bright and chimey. A couple things that I thought were interesting is for the rock metal sounds, uh, I thought in the bridge position sounded really great, in the neck position great, but of course in the in the positions two and four, a little muddy, maybe not so much there, but in the cleans, fantastic. The guitar has lots of sparkle and chime. This guitar does not come out until July, so depending on when you see this video, the guitars are supposed to hit the market somewhere in July 2020. So if you're watching this video after that or before that, you have a reference of this. So you understand that's great thing is now you're just getting to see the guitar uh, beforehand. I really want to thank Ivan for sending it out and let me check it out beforehand before it, it hits the streets, which is really cool. I definitely will be getting one. That's uh, there's no question about that. I, I love it that much. Uh, if you had to change the strings, would you have to uh, set the guitar up? 
probably a little adjustment to the neck, which is really easy, and maybe an adjustment to the springs on the bridge and a slight intonation. So again, a couple of adjustments, but I don't think it's a big deal. So something that you, I think uh, if you watch a couple of the videos that I've done in the past on setups and stuff, you would be totally fine for doing uh, if you wanted to change the strings out. It does come with these included stickers that she designed. So you could put some stickers on it. And on that note, I want to say thank you to everyone who spent some time with me today. Until the next time, know your gear. Thank you.